Can you believe that one day seeing a rocket land becomes a very normal sighting, similar to that of seeing airplanes land every hour? Sounds ridiculous, right? But that's exactly what SpaceX is doing now. This definitely comes as a shock for the entire space industry. Why is it a shock? Well, hang on right up to the end of the episode and I'll explain all the reasons for it. Now let's get started. Well, it's hard to make a profit in space. Moving stuff from Earth into space is an expensive process, but this is because we haven't learned how to recycle rockets yet. Since the launch of Sputnik started the space age 60 years ago, most of the spacecraft that have been launched were expendable launch vehicles, ELVs, and they only fly once. After delivering their payload, they either come back crashing down to Earth, burn up in the atmosphere, or simply remain in orbit as space junk. But every time a new payload needs to be sent to space, a new ELV had to be built, costing millions of dollars. Imagine how much an Uber would cost if the driver had to buy a new car for every trip. It might seem that the obvious solution is to reuse rockets. The idea of reusable launch vehicles or RLVs isn't new, but reusing rockets has proven tricky in the past. The first real attempt at making an RLV was NASA's space shuttle program. The space shuttle fleet was meant to lower the cost to space transportation by being partially reusable, but rather than lowering costs, the program actually increased them. The complexity and risk of the space shuttle fleet made maintaining and operating them expensive, and when the 30-year program ended in 2011, it may have seemed like the argument for RLVs ended right there. But the proponents of RLVs were undeterred. A few months after the final space shuttle flight, SpaceX, a startup company founded by tech billionaire Elon Musk, announces a plan to make its Falcon 9 rocket reusable. SpaceX began working on ways to recover and reuse the Falcon 9's booster stage, the largest, most expensive part of the rocket. Two years later, the company began trying to recover used boosters by having them make controlled descents into the ocean after completing their mission. After some spectacular failures, SpaceX successfully recovered a booster for the first time in late 2015. Over the next 15 months, SpaceX recovered more and more boosters, building up a stockpile of secondhand rockets, but it still hasn't reused any of them. Well, that changed in March of 2017 when one of the recovered boosters was refurbished and used to launch a communications satellite. It wasn't the first time a rocket had been reused. That honor will always belong to the space shuttle program. But unlike the space shuttle, the reused Falcon 9 was cheaper. And for the first time in history, recycling rockets made good business sense. Now five years have passed and SpaceX and Elon Musk have completed an insane record in the rocket industry. Specifically, the company successfully launched three Falcon 9 rockets less than 34 hours apart, leaving the company only one mission shy of CEO Elon Musk's ambitious target of 60 launches in 2022. Talking about this, Elon tweeted, Congrats to SpaceX team on three perfect orbital launches within 36 hours. The period was almost even more intense with two launches briefly scheduled minutes apart and all three set to launch in the space of 10 to 11 hours. But the more conservative sequencing SpaceX ultimately settled on still produced impressive results and allowed the company to break its own world record for the fastest time to complete three launches of the same rocket. June of 2022, SpaceX managed three similar launches, a Starlink mission, a scientific Earth observation satellite, and a commercial communication satellite, all in 36 hours and 18 minutes. Six months later, SpaceX has shaved more than two hours off its own feet with successful launches of another Earth observation satellite, a pair of commercial communication satellites, and 54 Starlink satellites, all in 33 hours and 46 minutes. SpaceX's latest hat trick started on December 16th with a Falcon 9 launch of the joint U.S.-French surface water and ocean topography SWAT mission out of Vandenberg Space Force Base, VSFB, California. Delayed from December 12th and 15th, the launch was nonetheless a perfect success, placing the 2.2-ton radar satellite into low Earth orbit that would allow it to precisely analyze virtually every inch of exposed water on Earth. 
That unprecedented capability should make it easier for scientists to study and understand Earth's water cycle, as well as humanity's substantial impact on those processes. A little over 11 hours later, a second Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from SpaceX's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station LC-40 pad, carrying the first two Boeing-built O3B M-Power satellites for SATCOM provider SES. Once again, SpaceX's workhorse rocket did its job perfectly, even managing to exceed its contracted parameters according to SES CEO Steve Collar. SpaceX is on contract to launch all 11 initial M-Power satellites. The next nine will head to orbit sometime in 2023 and 2024 as Boeing completes them. All three launches were completed in less than a day and a half, further emphasizing the breadth of SpaceX's expertise. Each Falcon 9 booster successfully landed after supporting their respective orbital launch, ensuring that those boosters will be able to support more launches in the near future. In fact, Starlink 4-37 was the 15th mission for the Falcon 9 booster B-1058. That broke SpaceX's internal reuse record and pushing technology's envelopes. It remains to be seen if the company will push beyond 15 flights. In June of 2022, interviews with Aviation Week, SpaceX execs stated Falcon boosters would be retired after 15 flights. A big change from past indications, there was nothing preventing each booster from launching 100 plus times with regular maintenance. Without a doubt, what SpaceX has been and is doing is truly unimaginable. Starlink 4-37 was also SpaceX's 59th successful orbital launch of 2022. In March, CEO Elon Musk raised an earlier annual target of 52 launches to 60 launches. At the time, 60 in one year was almost inconceivable. Set in 1980, the all-time record for a family of rockets, the Russian R-7, is 61 successful launches in one calendar year. But against all odds, SpaceX has relentlessly executed week after week and sustained an average of one launch every six days for more than 12 months. Multiple sources currently indicate SpaceX has two more Falcon 9 launches scheduled this year, another Starlink mission as early as December 28th, and a mission carrying the Israeli Eros C3 Earth Imaging Satellite on December 29th. SpaceX's Falcon rocket family thus has a chance to tie the all-time record of 61 R7 family launches, which was backed by the entire Soviet Union at the peak of its national launch cadence. This is really a leap that makes other space companies and even the rocket industry of many countries bow their head. China completed 55 launch missions in 2021, setting a current world record, and this year China's completed 60 space launches. They're now definitely so surprised by what Elon Musk's SpaceX can do. Given the number we talked about above related to SpaceX, China will not be the one to hold the throne this year. Finally, there's Russian space, which is considered the cradle of the rocket industry, but so far, the country's only launched 22 times. Do you remember Dmitry Rogozin, the guy who often made fun of the American broomsticks? Well, I'm waiting to see what his reaction is this time, but probably not. Rogozin's probably pretty embarrassed by all of this. Well, that about wraps it up for today's episode. Hey, don't forget, share your ideas in the comments section. Everyone's support motivates us to create more quality videos. And for that, we thank you so much, and we do hope to see you next time.